Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting ready to start decorating for Christmas. So right now, basically our house is a complete disaster. We just have decorations pretty much everywhere. I put all of my Christmas pillows over there on the couch. And that is the reason why I've been telling you guys that I do not need to buy any more Christmas pillows because I have so many pillows. The pups are here wearing their little Christmas sweaters. They look so cute. Let me show you guys Winnie's. Here is Winnie's little sweater. Look how adorable this is. Love this one so much. This one is from Target quite a few years ago. This is from, I think, Madison when she was a puppy. And then here is Madison. She has this little reindeer one. I think this one is from Menards. I think we bought this one last year or the year before. Look how cute they look in their little sweaters. They're all festive and ready to start decorating. So I think we are going to start by putting up the main tree right here. Usually that's where we start, isn't it? Yep. And I just realized we've had this tree since 2012. So that is what, seven years? Yeah. Doesn't seem like we've had that tree for that long, does oh, it? Yeah, I am so excited. I also just picked up this sign the other day right here. I think I told you guys that I always love the Farm Fresh Christmas tree signs. So I found that one the other day and I am in love with it. They are playing a Christmas story on TV right now. So that is what we are currently watching. So like I said, I did stick all of my Christmas pillows over here on the couch. So here is a shot of all of my Christmas pillows. You think I have a lot of pillows? Uh, we have quite a few. I have a few. Not that many though, right? Not too many. We're just kidding. I have so many Christmas pillows. I actually have more than this, but I think I am going to, as I'm decorating, go through a bunch of my Christmas decor and kind of declutter it a little bit and see if there is a bunch of stuff. I know I have some stuff in the attic that I haven't used in quite a long time. So I think we are just going to go ahead and donate a bunch of that. Look how cute Winnie looks laying in her little furry bed in front of the fireplace. This is one of their favorite places to lay, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Especially right now, we have the heat turned on, so I think she likes getting a little bit of heat. She's all cozy right there. So basically, the only thing we have done so far is I stuck this tree right over here. I had it there last year as well. And then I think I am going to hang that new Christmas tree sign right above the tree. This is what the kitchen is currently looking like. So I just pretty much have stuff all over the place right now, and it's kind of driving me crazy because you guys know I like to keep my house very clean. So I'm definitely excited to start decorating and get everything organized. I do want to show you guys, I ordered a couple things from Victoria's Secret the other day. So I'll quickly show you. So first of all, I ended up getting this hat right here. I always love these hats in the winter time. It gets so cold here in Michigan. So it has the little puff ball on the top. And then the inside has this super soft Sherpa material. And then it has a cute little dog. These were on sale, I think about a week ago, they were having 40% off on the pink website and free shipping. So I picked this up and then also this cute little sponge right here. And then they also sent me a coupon for I think $20 off 50. So I thought it was a pretty amazing deal because I spent less than $10 and then I got a coupon for 20 off 50 to use I think in the next few weeks. Another thing I wanted to show you guys are these adorable sheets that I picked up last week for our bed. So they just have these adorable little dogs on them. We don't have a ton of sheets for our bed since we just switched it out to the king. Last one was that last. February or March, something like that. Yeah. So we don't have a ton of Christmassy sheets. So I thought I would grab these. I thought these were just adorable. And I think these were only $19.99, which is pretty cheap for King sheets. All right, guys, I think we are going to start setting up the Christmas tree. So as we begin setting up, I will kind of film and show you guys the progress. Ready to start decorating? Yep. And while we're decorating, we usually like to watch one of our favorite Christmas movies. Like I said, A Christmas Story was on TV, but it's almost over. So I think we are going to watch this one right here. Do you want to watch Surviving Christmas? Yes, I do. This is one of our favorites. If you guys haven't ever watched this one, you should definitely watch it because this one is hilarious. It has Ben Affleck in it. And then it has Catherine O'Hara right here, which is the mom from Home Alone. If you guys remember, this movie is so hilarious though, isn't it? Yeah. I love Ben Affleck. So I think we are going to watch this and we will start decorating. Right here is the pot that we always put our tree in. We bought this a couple of years ago from, where did we buy this from? Not sure. Was it Tractor and Farm? It might have been, yeah, one of those stores. 
I'm pretty sure this is from Tractor and Farm Supply. We like having our tree in this. I really don't like doing a Christmas tree skirt just because we have dogs and there's so much hair that gets all over it. So I like having our tree in this big pot right here. This is so hilarious, you guys. We were in the middle of setting up the tree and I turned around to see where Winnie is because she is still a puppy. So we like to keep a close eye on her, especially with all of the new decor out because we don't want her chewing anything up. And she is over here in the mound of pillows on the couch is that not hilarious this is normally the spot where she likes to lay i think i told you guys before that she likes laying on that faux fur blanket so it was so funny because we were looking for her and we couldn't find her she was just blending right into the pillows on the couch with her little christmas sweater on she is so adorable see what i mean she just blends right in doesn't she yeah she does all right, we've got the first section of the tree up in the pot. So basically what I like to do, and I find this a lot easier, is we will just do one section at a time and we'll just go around and fluff the first section and then the second and the third. And I feel like that's a little bit easier because if we put it all up at once and then try to fluff it, I feel like it gets a little bit overwhelming. So I just find that this is a little bit easier. What do yeah, you think? Yeah, it's a lot more work when you try to do it all at once. It's easier this way, isn't it? Yeah. And then it just feels like you're working in a smaller space where you're not just overwhelmed. So that is what we are going to do. We're going to start fluffing this baby up and I'll come back and show you when we get the next section on. This tree is really nice because we show how the branches just pull down. Look how easily the branches just pull down on this. They just kind of fall down almost very easy. And this actually didn't need much fluffing because it was still pretty fluff from last year, wasn't it? They stay pretty good. Can you guys see the clouds of flocking dust? Look at that. Yeah. It's flocking dust. All right, guys, we basically have the tree up. We are still fluffing it, but in between, I am dying here. In between putting this up, I received a potential spam call on my phone and it was somebody trying to get my Apple ID information. So we decided to mess with the guy a little bit and it was so funny. I kept him on there for about 10 minutes and then Bill went on and said, hello. And then the guy said, what did he say? I was talking to a woman. <laughs> and then what did you say? <laughs> this is a woman. And it was like, click, young up. <laughs> so funny. So if anybody calls your phone saying they're from Apple and then they want you to go to a different website, do not fall for it. It is a scam. Definitely do not fall for it, right? Yep. All right. So here is our progress. We just like messing with scammers while we're decorating for Christmas. Why not? That's okay. just minutes Fine they can't scam someone else, right? Yep. Okay. So I think next... I am going to just, I'm all out of breath, fluff it up a little bit more. One eternity later. So next, I think we are going to add the lights. What we normally do is we just store the lights in the box with the tree. It's just a lot easier. So we are going to add the lights. As you can see, they're nice and flocked. And then I'm probably going to stick some of these pine cones on right here. These are really nice because they kind of hide like any, um, what do you call it? Like open sparse, any open spaces. Yeah. So these are just some pine cones. I think these were the scented ones that I picked up at probably Joann's or somewhere. And then they just have some flocking on them. So let's get our tree lit. The puppies are here. They want to help string the lights. Look at them. Yeah, so cute. And it looks like Winnie has the lights in her hand and her little she's paw. Holding. She's, help holding for me. she's holding them. So basically Always remember to plug in your lights before you put them up on your tree. You definitely don't want to get all your lights up on your tree, which is, it's probably obvious, but yeah. I'll just put that out there. Yeah. She looks so cute. And basically I like to start from the bottom. I don't know if everyone else starts from the top. We plug the lights in and then we start putting them on from the bottom. I just like doing it that way. Sometimes I like doing stuff backwards. Just works out. Little helper. Hi, Winnie. And they work pretty good. A few moments later. Literally just caught Winnie like this. She was trying to chew on the little truck pillow. Do you see how she's sitting? Look at her. Look at this. She will not look because she knows that she's guilty and I just yelled at her. So she doesn't want to look. She always does that when she gets busted for doing something naughty, doesn't she? Yeah. Winnie. Are you a naughty? But you're so cute. She's so cute. It's hard to ever seem mad. Oh. She says, okay, mom, I'll just sleep on it and not eat it. I think she's getting tired. She's all exhausted from helping out with the Christmas lights. Yeah, from watching us. From watching us. She did hold the lights down with her paw, that though. Is true. So that's a lot of work for a little puppy. 
Look how she's sitting there. Is that not hilarious? Uh -huh. All right, guys, the tree is lit. Only one strand of our lights was not working. Well, actually only half of it was not working. So good thing we checked before we put them all in the tree. Yeah. That would not be good if we had to redo all of them. So next, I think I am going to add some of my pine cones and then I'll add these in any spaces that need to be filled. And then after that, I am going to give it a good coat of the flocking, this little baked snow in a can. The stuff is only $1.75 and it just makes the tree look so good, doesn't it? It looks so good for only $1.75. Usually it takes about, I don't know, a can or two cans to do the tree. The pine cones are on and I am getting ready to add some of the flocking or the fake snow. So basically what I do is I kind of just stick the pine cone up in the tree and they stay on there pretty well, don't they? Yeah. The only ones that ever fall off are some of the ones towards the bottom if the dog like tries to get into the tree or something, but usually Madison doesn't. I guess we'll have to see with Winnie. So I do like to have the lights on before I do the flocking just because then some of the wire is hidden. All right, Bill is letting the pups outside so I'm going to attempt to show you guys this one-handed. So basically you just take your can of fake snow and then you just shake it up extra good and then you just start spraying it on kind of just like this. Hopefully this doesn't get all over my camera lens. And then if any gets on the floor, it's not a big deal. It looks a little bit wet if it gets on the floor, but basically it just dries into a powder. Same if it gets on your wall or anything like that, it's really not a big deal. It just kind of dries and you can brush it off. So basically that is it. Just kind of go around and put as much or as little as you like on the tree. I like to give mine a decent flocking. I think it just makes the tree looks so much nicer. I just love the nice snowy look that it gives. I was actually looking at an old picture from a few years ago when we didn't have the tree flocked and I think I like the way it looks so much better flocked. I feel like it just has a little bit more of a richer look to it when it has the fake snow on it. Here is the tree all flocked. I think it looks pretty good. This only ended up taking one can. Our tree did still have some flocking on it from last year so this is how it's looking. Do you think it looks good or I should add more? I think it looks pretty good. I do too, because I don't want to overdo it. So here is the aftermath. Now, normally I would just kind of let this dry and then kind of sweep it up or vacuum it up. But since we have Winnie, I do not want her licking this up. So I am just going to take a damp rag and just wipe it all up and just easy as that. All right, guys, I think now that the tree is all flocked, we will let this dry. Usually we let this dry for several hours just so it's not all sticky and wet when we're trying to put our ornaments on. So I think next we are going to move on to putting up some of the garlands around the doors and windows. So I have all of these garlands here. These are so gorgeous. The only bad thing about these is they make a mess, don't they? Yeah, a lot of glitter. A lot of glitter. It's so funny because I went to Joanne's the other day and bought a few more garlands and the girl was just covered in it, wasn't she? Yeah, she was her, and the counter. her and the counter. She was so nice though, you guys. So I think next we are going to start putting these up. I think we are going to put some up over here around this window and then we will also put some up over here around the patio door as well and then over around the window here in the kitchen. And then I might put some up in our bedroom. We usually put some up over in the hallway over there. We have quite a bit of garland. So I think we're just gonna start out in the living room first. Winnie is back over in her favorite spot. It is so funny. She just blends in, doesn't she? With that yeah, little yeah. sweater right on, look. Now. Right now she's just camouflaged. So we did end up putting up the new Christmas tree sign over there above the tree. I think it looks so good. And now we are getting ready to put up the garland next. And I just know it is going to make a complete mess. We should probably pull the couch a little bit away so it doesn't get all over the couch. So that is what we are going to do next. She just pops out, look at her. This is Winnie's first Christmas. And she's gonna get a lot of presents. I can't wait to watch her open presents, you guys. I remember Madison's first Christmas and her opening all of her little presents. We didn't know if she would open them, but she was just so excited. One thing that I did last year, which was very smart, was to label where my garlands went because I have so many garlands, don't I? So basically I just stuck them in garbage bags and then I just wrote on the bag, like LR, this one is for living room and it just makes it a lot easier than trying to figure out which goes where. Here is the first garland hung up. 
I think it looks pretty good. Bill just hung it up and he did it kind of like on a little bit of a swag. I think it looks really nice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it turned out good. And then to hang the garland, I'll show you guys. All we do is we use a couple of the clear, what do you call those things? Thumbtacks? The thumbtacks and we stick them like in the top right here here and then there i'll quickly show you these are the little clear tacks that we use right here and it doesn't matter if it puts holes in the trim because we stick them on the very top of the trim so it's nothing that you would ever see i know some people like to use command hooks but we have not had good luck with command hooks have we every single time we've used command hooks they end up peeling the paint or something bad happens so command hooks are not our friends and then you can see the the garland basically got glitter all over the place. It looks all snowy. Next, we are going to light our garland. So for lights on my garland, I like to use some of these little battery operated string lights. I think I bought these last year from Walmart, but you can pretty much buy these anywhere. And I like getting the ones that have the green wire so they just blend right into the garland. Here's the garland all lit up. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I absolutely love it. If you guys are wondering, this garland is from Joanne Fabrics. I bought this last year, but I believe they have the same this year because didn't I just buy some more of that the other day? I think day? you did, yeah. I absolutely love their garlands. They have so many nice ones. I'm actually getting ready to go there in a little while. I think my mom and I are going to run over there because they are having some really good sales. So. I think we might take a little bit of a break and I will bring you guys with us to Joanne's. Hi guys, we are currently at Joanne shopping for some Christmas decor. Right now, all of their Christmas decor is on sale for 60% off. So I decided to stop in. A lot of this stuff sells out super fast. Last year, I think a lot of the wreaths and garlands sold out before Black Friday. So if you were looking for something here, definitely try to stop in before Black Friday. So first of all, I am grabbing a couple of these gorgeous little wreaths right here. I just love the sparkly frosted look these have. I'm honestly not sure where I'm going to hang these yet, but these are so gorgeous here. I'll give you a little bit of a better look at the one hanging here. I don't know if you can see it a little bit better. And then they also have some of these gorgeous little ones right here with the berries on them. And in case you guys are wondering, these little wreaths are normally $14.99, but on sale for 60% off, they are only $5.99. Another thing that I think I am going to grab is one of these pretty sparkly trees right here in the burlap. Love this one right here. Look how gorgeous that one is. Even though I think I told you guys I do not need any more trees, I am going to cave and buy one of these little trees. I also like these right here, the little flocked ones and the boxes. Actually can't decide which I like better. So they have the smaller one and then they also have a bigger version down here. I pretty much wanna buy all of the little trees. This is definitely one of my favorite stores to shop for Christmas decor. They always have some of the nicest Christmas decor here and sometimes it is a little bit pricey. But if you wait for 60% off sales, you can usually get a pretty good deal. Oh my goodness, I just spotted another tree that I love. Look at these little trees. Aren't those cute? They have some of the sweater pillows down there. Those kind of remind me of the ones that I bought last year at Target. I still love those. And then I also love this snowflake pillow. Oh my God, how cute. Oh my goodness, that is. My mom just found this dish towel right here. It says Season's Greetings. I don't know if you can see, but it is sparkly and pretty. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at the little barn. And then you can write how many days until Christmas. They have a mug that matches that dish towel as well. And then they have a little snowman one. Oh, look at this one. It says it's snuggle season. They have a sweater weather one. All right, I am going to step away from the mugs because I'm really trying not to buy any mugs or pillows. Speaking of not wanting to buy any pillows, I do love that one right there. And then I also love this sign right here, but I kind of wish that it didn't have that little shelf on it. I mean, it's kind of cute, but I kind of wish that it was just Merry Christmas without that. Also loving that one right there. My mom and I actually stopped in here last week and we bought a sign. And you know what? I just realized I think those signs are gone now. Do you see that? Good thing we bought them when we did. Okay, we bought some really cute signs. I'll have to show you guys later. But at the time they had a bunch and we weren't going to buy them. They were only 50% off. We were going to wait for 60 and now they're gone. So thank goodness we bought them, right? Like I said, I'll have to show you guys later. Oh my goodness, look at this one. It's a little Winnie. Aww. 
Is that not adorable? Does not look like little Winnie in there? Yeah. Or little baby Madison. Oh so my cute. gosh, you guys. So cute. I also love this one right here. Candy Cane Factory. Also, if any of you make holiday treats for gifts, they have some of the cutest little tins here. These are also on sale for 60% off. Here's one with Winnie. Oh, it's the same one. Is that, cute? that is so adorable. I'm kind of tempted to buy this. I definitely don't need any more tins. They also have some like this with the little Winnie on them, and then they have some of the little baby ones right here. Those would be so adorable. A few moments later. I keep spotting more Winnie's. I might need to get this. I might need this. Look. Oh, yeah. It looks just like them things. It does. Okay. I might be bringing this home with me. This is $14.99. So this would only be $5.99. I think I am going to grab one of these. Okay, this is definitely coming home with me. Another mat they have that I love is this one right here. That says, let it snow. Do you like that one? And then let's see, they have welcome home and just welcome. All right guys, I think we are about to get out of here. The last thing I want to show you are a couple of Christmas pillows. They definitely have some nice Christmas pillows here. So I think we are about to be out of here on our way to the checkout and I've spotted yet another one. Hi guys, I just got home from shopping. I feel like I am so tired from decorating all day as well as shopping. I wanted to quickly show you some wreaths that I picked up at Joann's. I thought these were so gorgeous. These wreaths were normally 40 and they were on sale for 70% off. I thought that was an amazing deal. So I'll kind of get in and show you a little bit of a close up. I love the natural look to these. I love the little pine cones and the berries. So I just decided to hang them on our closet doors and see how they look. And I think they look so good. All right, guys, I am going to get going. I will be back to do some more decorating tomorrow. Like I said, I am just exhausted. So we are just going to cuddle up and watch a Christmas movie. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, it is now the next day and I wanted to show you what I picked up from Joann's yesterday. They were having some amazing sales and I picked up some really cute stuff. So first of all, I ended up grabbing a dish towel. My mom showed this one to me when we were shopping and I thought this one was super gorgeous. So it just says season's greetings and look how sparkly and pretty the little tree is. And then it has a little fringe at the bottom. I just thought this was so gorgeous. Next, I picked up some of these little wreaths. Here is a close up of the little wreaths. These are so gorgeous, you guys. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with these. I'm thinking I might want to hang a couple of them in the smaller windows, one here and one here, or possibly maybe in the kitchen on some of these smaller cabinets above the fridge and the microwave. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure it out. And then I did end up picking up one of these little mats right here that says home for the holidays. I just couldn't resist because the little pup reminds me of Winnie and Madison. Lastly, from Joann's, my mom and I each picked up one of these joy signs. We actually bought these a couple of weeks ago and when we bought them, I think they were on sale for 50% off. And originally we were going to wait to grab these because they had a ton. And then I don't know what we were thinking, but I told my mom, I said, we better just grab them before they're gone. And thankfully we did because I haven't seen these back in stock. Yeah, so I am very happy that we ended up grabbing these. These reminded both of us of something that would be from the Joanna Gaines line. We just thought that these are so gorgeous. I love the little wreath. I'm not sure where I'm going to put mine yet. It does have a hanger on it, so if you want to hang it up. I did have it sitting against my backsplash in my kitchen for a couple of days, and it did look really cute there, so I may just end up leaving it there. Otherwise, I'll have to try to find somewhere to hang it on the wall. All right, guys, I think next I am going to set up this tree here. This is the one that I told you about that I bought last year at Home Depot after Christmas when it was on clearance. I am in love with this tree. So this will be my first time setting this one up. This is just a six and a half foot tall tree. I'm going to see if this will fit in our bedroom. I don't know if it will look too crowded in there. I'm gonna see if I can stick it in front of the mirror. So once I get this tree set up, I will show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, here is the tree in our bedroom. I think it looks so good in here. I love this little tree so much. And I think it looks so gorgeous sitting in front of the mirror and then you can see it reflecting in the mirror. I think it just looks perfect here. As you can see, this tree came in this little pot. 
that. And then to make the tree look a little bit more realistic, I stuck some of these little baby pine cones in here. And I think they just really finish off the tree. I think they just make it look super nice. Definitely happy that I picked this little tree up last year on clearance. I feel like it is just perfect for the bedroom. And then I'll kind of stand back so you can see what the wreaths look like with the tree. I think it looks so good in here. One other thing that I would still like to add to the bedroom is a garland to the headboard. I'm probably going to do that later though because I have a bunch of garlands that are still out in the shed. And if I'm being completely honest right now, I'm just too lazy to get bundled up and go out to the shed and look for them. So I think next I am going to work in the kitchen for a little bit and I will come back and show you guys the bedroom later and hopefully I will find a garland that will go good on the headboard. All right guys, next I am going to work on my little coffee slash hot cocoa station over here because like I said, I'm just too lazy to go out to the shed right now. So this is what I am going to work on. So the first thing that I think I am going to do is fill this little container up right here. Normally I like to fill this up with the little mini marshmallows, but I decided to fill it up with these little iced gingerbread cookies this time. I think these will look super cute. And then usually I like to stick a couple of mugs in this tray. so. I'll either use the Santas, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, or Bah Humbug and Fa La La. I'm not sure, usually I just kind of play around and just stick them in there and see what looks best. All right guys, I've got it all filled up with the little gingerbread cookies. Are these not the cutest little cookies you have ever seen? And they are also super yummy. So I'll keep him out to eat. So that is how it is looking so far. And now I'm just going to see which mugs I like on here best. Like I said, usually I'll just kind of play around with it and put all of the different mugs on and see how it looks. And I can tell you right off the bat, I am not loving these. So definitely not going with the winking Santas. Let's try Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I actually think I had these on there last year and I just really like these. All right, I think Mr. and Mrs. Claus it is. I absolutely love these. And now I still need to decide what I'm going to stick over here in this other corner. So I think I decided I am going to use one of these little trees that I had in the box that I was going to get rid of over here in the coffee station. So I'm thinking about sticking it over here in this corner. I probably won't have it sitting on that because it will be too tall. But I think what I'm going to do is take some of that fake snow in a can and just kind of lightly put some on this tree. I think it would look really cute. And then I did just stick it in this pot right here just to kind of give it a little bit more of a realistic look. So I am going to add a light coat of the fake snow in a can to this tree and see how it looks. All right guys, I am back. That took me a whole minute. So I just took it outside and gave it a light coating of the fake snow. I just decided to do it outside and then I don't have to clean up any sort of a mess in the house. So this is how it is looking. I think it looks so good. I love the effect that that little fake snow in a can gives the trees. Just gives them a whole new life. It's like a whole new tree, a little snowy tree. So I think this came out perfect. Here is how my coffee station looks all finished. I love the way this came out. Like I said, I'm just kind of keeping it simple this year. Originally, I was going to stick a little wood slab or another tray over here, but I just kind of feel like that might be a bit much. So then I just stuck my little sleigh ride sign here that I bought from the Target dollar spot. I definitely love the way the tree looks with some flocking on it. And then here is my tray. I think this came out really cute. So I think next I am going to work on figuring out how I want to display a bunch of my Ray Dunn Christmas canisters. I just have a bunch of them sitting over here. So I think that is what I am going to work on next. Here is how I arranged my Ray Dunn Christmas canisters. So I just decided to stick four of them over here. So we have Bah Humbug, Santa, Cole, and Reindeer Snacks, my favorite. Hi guys, we are currently at Walmart and I wanted to show you some of the cutest little mugs. So these are $3.86. So first of all, they have this one here that says Slay all day. Look at that one. And then they come with the little spoons. This one says Holiday Boss, Jingle Java. I think this little guy right here is my favorite. Which one do you like best? I like the little snowman. You like the snowman one? Mm -hmm. I think they had these snowman ones out last year. I think this one is different. And then they also have 
a Santa one. They have one down here that says better not pout. Oh, and then there's one more. Are you sure this one isn't your favorite? Look, that is so funny. They have a little camper one. Here is the camper. That one is pretty big, isn't it? Uh-huh. The boat drink out of that. We could. And then I did already show you guys the cookie jars the last time we were here. Still love the little snowman one. And then I, of course, love the barn. And then they do have some of these candy jars. This one matches the mug. And then they have a train and a gingerbread house. These are only $3.98. I also love these plates right here. This one says cookies for Santa. And then they have this one right here as well. And then they also have a milk bottle. These are $2.98. I'm also loving these pillows right here that say be merry. I'm kind of tempted to get one of these. And then they have some of these lanterns. This reminds me of the one that I have in my living room that I found at Home Goods, And then this gorgeous tree right here. This is $22.98. I feel like this would be so pretty if you stuck some string lights in here. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that would look pretty? Yeah, would. I'm thinking about getting one of these candle holders right here. I love the way that it looks like a birch. Do you think those look cool? Yeah, they look nice. I'm gonna grab one of these. If you guys are looking for flannel sheets for a good price, they have some really nice ones at Walmart. I actually have these right here and love them. So I think the twin are $15.96, full are $19.96, queen are $24.96, and king are $28.96, which I think is a pretty good deal for flannel sheets. Oh, and look at these blankets up here. Velvet. I know, it's velvet plush. Do you wanna feel it? See how soft it is. Oh, yeah. Doesn't that feel good? We found some more Christmas pillows. I like this one with the trees. And then they do have one with the little red truck, except now I'm kind of obsessed with the little white truck after buying that one at Target. Wasn't that one cute? Uh -huh. They have a bunch of different ones. Oh, they have some plaid ones. Hi guys, I am home from shopping and I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I picked up. I apologize if the lighting is terrible. It is really dark and dreary outside. It's actually starting to rain. So I apologize if the lighting isn't good. So I did end up getting some of these Be Merry pillows from Walmart. I absolutely love these. I actually ended up grabbing two of these. So I decided I wanted one to go on my couch. You can see it back there. And then I also originally wanted to grab one to put on the bed. So I just decided to grab two of these pillows and these were only $9.99. Next from Walmart, I picked up this candle holder. Absolutely love this. So I think this has, let's see, one, two, it has three little tree cutouts you can see. And then I just have this green candle in here. I think that the green looks really nice. I think this was $14.99. So that is everything that I picked up from Walmart. I do have a couple other things I want to share with you guys. I have some new Ray Dunn. So I have three of these Santa Paws canisters and this is a funny story. My mom was looking for one of these and she wanted one of these really bad. So I ended up getting one for her and then I was going to surprise her and bring it over on Thanksgiving. Well, we were at the store and we ended up finding two of them and my mom was going to buy one. So I had to tell her that I already bought one and I was planning on surprising her which she was really happy. So I did end up grabbing these two. I am going to be giving these four gifts. I am going to give one to my vet and one to our vet tech because they are such amazing ladies. So going to be giving those to them for Christmas gifts. And it was actually perfect timing that I found these canisters because Winnie has a vet appointment tomorrow. So I will probably bring these tomorrow. And then I'm also going to give them each a Bath and Body Works lotion. And I found these adorable cards right here for them. So they say, you will have a happy holiday. And then inside it says, I just knows it. I thought these were so adorable. So hopefully they are going to love these. I'm not even sure if they know what Ray Dunn is, but I just thought the little red canisters were cute and they both have pups. So I thought these would be perfect for their dog treats. And like I said, they are just both amazing ladies and they take wonderful care of our pups. So always like to get them a little something for the holidays. Also speaking of Christmas gifts, I picked up a couple of things from Victoria's Secret. They were having a sale on their lotions and body sprays. These were only $6. So I did end up grabbing one for myself. This one smelled so good. So I decided to get this one for myself. This one is cashmere snow. 
And then I picked up two more for gifts. So I grabbed a tag off the angel tree. Normally I like to get a little kid, but this year I decided to grab a teenager. So it said on there that she likes perfumes and body spray. So I picked this one up. I thought this was super pretty. And I thought what teen girl wouldn't love something that was pink and sparkly. And then I also grabbed her a cashmere snow. So these are a few of the gifts that I'm going to be giving her. I still have a bunch more stuff to pick out. Another Ray Dunn item that I picked up is this ho 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 rug right here. I saw a picture of this on Instagram and I was kind of obsessed. So this is what it looks like. And this was, let's see, $12.99 and I did have a reward for home goods. So I had a $10 reward. So I only had to pay just a little over $3 thinking I am going to just put this in the kitchen. I was really happy I found this because I didn't think I was going to end up finding one of these. And then from TJ Maxx, I picked up a couple of these bags for Christmas gifts. So I grabbed a couple of these with the pups on them. I thought this one was really cute. And then I picked up this one for my mom. She really liked this one. And then I also picked up this set of gift bags here. You get three of these for $2. I found these at Big Lots and I just thought these were so gorgeous. Look how pretty the glitter is. And then I love the little buffalo check on them. So it comes with the Christmas tree, a wreath, and then this one right here that says making spirits bright. Like I said, I just thought these were gorgeous for some cute little gifts. And lastly, I picked up some wrapping paper for my sister. I found this peanuts wrapping paper at the dollar store the other day. And I usually always wrap my sister's gifts with peanuts paper because she loves it. So grabbed a couple of these. So I think that is everything that I picked up. I do still plan on doing a Ray Dunn Christmas haul. I have so much to show you guys. And honestly, the majority of it is for my sister because her birthday is next week. So ended up getting her a ton of stuff and so did my mom. So I will be sharing what we are giving her for her birthday either later in this video or in my next one because I don't want her to snoop and figure out what we're giving her. She does know a few of the things we're giving her, but I also have a few tricks up my sleeve. So here's an update on how everything is looking in here. I'll take you guys into the living room and show you. I think I have the pillows exactly how I want them now. I am loving it. And then this pile here, I just keep making smaller and smaller. So that's good. I'll be happy when all of that is gone. Here is how my couch looks with all of my Christmas pillows on it. Well, actually I didn't end up using all of my Christmas pillows because if I did, there literally would be no place to sit. So this is what it looks like with the Christmas pillows that I decided to put on here. Definitely love the way the pillows are looking on the couch. And I honestly think that the Be Merry one is quite possibly my favorite. I just love the pop of red. I think it looks so good. Funny story, earlier I was over here vacuuming my couch because I told you guys Winnie likes to get up here so sometimes there's dog hair. So I was standing right here by the window and I looked up and there was a guy standing right there and I almost screamed. I was like, oh my gosh, who is that? And then I realized it was the guy here putting our winterizer down on the lawn, but I just got so scared. So I just kind of stood there like frozen and then he just waved, so I waved him. I probably looked like a weirdo or something, but it was just really funny because I wasn't expecting to look up and have somebody be standing right there. Another one of my favorite pillows is this little snowman one. I think I bought this one either last year or the year before at the at-home store. And then of course you guys know that I love this one right here. I bought a couple of these last year at Target and I actually saw them again there last week. So if you guys are interested, they are selling these pillows again. I love the back of these too. They have this super soft like Sherpa material. And then this year they also have them in gray, which I am absolutely loving. On my coffee table, I put this tray here, which I think I bought a couple of years ago from Home Goods. On the tray, I have some of these adorable little Christmas tree candles. These are from World Market. My husband is so sweet. I saw these online one day and he offered to pick them up for me on his way home from work. He is seriously the best husband ever, you guys. I love him so much. And then I have some of these snowflake coasters. I think I bought these last year. I'm pretty sure from TJ Maxx. These are so sparkly and pretty. Pretty. And then lastly, I have this glass candle holder here. This is from Walmart. This was only $5. And then inside of it, I have this little tree candle holder here. This is from Bath and Body Works. I think I bought this probably four or five years ago. I've had this forever. So that is how the tray is looking. I think the little tray came out so cute. 
And then I hung our buffalo check stockings over there next to the fireplace. I also almost forgot to mention, we did get the tree basically all decorated. I might stick a couple more ornaments on, but I think it is looking really good. I think I told you guys last year, I just like to keep my tree fairly simple. So I just went with the red bulbs and the sparkly silver ones. And then I stuck some of the pine cones in and then some of the little red bows. I always love the red satin bulbs. I think I told you guys before that my mom always used to put these on her tree and I just fell in love with them. I always just think that they look so nice when my mom has them on her tree. So she is my inspiration for my tree. This is how it's looking over here on this area over behind the couch. So I think this is pretty much done. I am completely happy with everything that I have on this chest of drawers it's going out of focus i'm still maybe working on this spot a little bit so i'll show you guys so i'm definitely happy with the decorations on here i stuck this letters to santa mailbox on here that i found at target i am in love with this and i am so happy that i decided to grab this this was actually the last one that my store had and i just couldn't resist buying it here is a close-up of the mailbox so this one is by hearth and hand this was a little bit pricey but honestly i wanted one of these since last year they had a green one out last year and I didn't end up getting one and then this year when they came out with this cream colored one I knew I had to buy one and then sitting next to the mailbox I have this little tree here I love the little pot that this tree is in and this tree does light up I just haven't put any batteries in it yet I bought this one last year art van furniture they always have a ton of super cute Christmas decor and then down here on the end, I have this guy. I bought him last year at Target and he is still one of my favorites. I think he is so adorable. I hung my hearth and hand wreath over here next to the front door. I bought two of these last year. I actually bought one before Christmas and then I ended up finding one after Christmas on clearance for half price. So I decided to grab another one. Just love these wreaths so much. I think these are gorgeous. So I have this one here, and then I also have another one that I hung in my kitchen. And then also by the door, I did end up sticking my little home for the holidays mat with the little Winnie Madison pup there. I'm still working on decorating this stand over here behind the couch. I'm honestly just not happy with this. I feel like I keep putting different stuff here and then I'm just not happy. You know how that goes when you're decorating and you have to try about a thousand things <laughs> until you finally get it right. And then at that moment when you get it right, you just know that it's right. So definitely still working on this area. I do love the little Christmas tree sitting on the stack of books. So I probably will keep that there. I'm thinking, who knows though. Still not sure if I'm going to keep the little white truck there. And then I probably will end up keeping the lantern there. But again, not sure. Still working on this area. Here's an update on how my kitchen is looking. So like I said, I did hang the other hearth and hand wreath over there on the door. Pups are just chilling in the kitchen. So I did keep my kitchen Christmas decor a little bit minimal this year and I will say that I am loving it. Right now on the island, I have that candle holder sitting there that I showed you guys, but I actually have a tree that I like to have sitting there. I just left this here from a little while ago when I was filming. I did end up putting my joy sign from Joann's over here on the countertop. I think I told you guys I wasn't sure if I was going to hang that somewhere or put it in the kitchen, but I did end up putting it here and I think it looks very nice. And then I have my dish towel right there from Joann's. Look how cute the pups are looking. Say hi puppies. They're so adorable. And then I think I already showed you guys, I have my Ray Dunn canisters sitting over here. And this is so funny. Every time I move and I'm filming, it's like the pups come with me and they're following me because now they're over here. So I have my Ray Dunn canisters and then I hung this Christmas tree sign up. I told you guys I am obsessed with the little farm fresh Christmas tree signs. So I hung this one up here and then I also have my Ray Dunn crock over here that my sister bought me for my birthday. I don't know if you can see, it's kind of bright. It says Mrs. Claus's kitchen. And then around the window, we also hung up this garland and then we stuck some of the battery operated string lights. I think these garlands are super gorgeous. This is one of the garlands that I bought last year from Joann's. Joann's is honestly my favorite place to shop for garlands. I feel like they have some of the prettiest ones and their prices are great. Like I said, they've been having sales for 60 and 70% off. 
So that is going to be it for all of the Christmas decor in my kitchen. Like I said, I just wanted to keep it a little bit simple in here this year. Oh, I did stick that tree on the island so you guys could see how it looks. So I'll give you a close up of that. I bought this tree a couple of years ago from Target. I'm pretty sure they still sell these. I know they have the little trees in the wicker baskets. I think the one this year might have glitter on the branches though. This one is just plain. And then they also have a flocked one again this year. This is definitely one of my favorite little trees. I love the wicker basket that this one is in. These remind me a lot of the trees that they have at Pottery Barn, but way less expensive. All right, guys, I think next I'm going to get my trees out that go next to the patio door. I have one that goes on either side. I bought them at Home Depot last year. I do want to paint the pots that they came in. I think they're kind of a dark brown, and I really want to spray paint them black, and I think it is in the 50s today, so I'm probably going to bring those out to the garage at some point and spray paint the pots black. I think they're going to look really nice. So I'll get the trees out and kind of show you a before and then I'll show you what they look like after. Oh, and I also almost forgot, we did hang up a garland around the patio doors. And when I say we, I mean Bill. He is seriously so amazing, you guys. He hung up all of my garlands for me and he did a wonderful job. They look so good. For the garland in here, I decided to keep it a little bit shorter because I am going to be putting those trees next to the patio doors. We did try it with one extra garland added on, but I thought it came down a little bit too long and I don't want it to look too cluttered with the trees there. So I like to keep this one a bit short. This is the same garland like the one that we hung up in the living room. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but these garlands are from Joann's. These are the trees right here that I'm going to be putting next to the patio door. We bought these last year at Home Depot. I'm not sure if they still sell them this year, but you can find these little trees pretty much everywhere. I know Walmart has them for super cheap. They were a pretty good deal at Home Depot when I bought mine, they were on sale. So like I said, I'm not sure if they have them again this year or not. A lot of times they have the exact same stuff every year. So if you guys are interested in these particular trees, they are A12 and they are the four foot Douglas potted pre-lit trees. And then you can kind of see what the pot looks like. Like I said, I am going to attempt to paint these black and hopefully they will come out good. Here's an even better look at the pot. So as you can see, these are two-toned and I just don't love these. So definitely excited to take these out and paint them black. And it is nice because the trees pull right out of the pot. So I don't have to worry about trying to paint these while the trees are in them. So I think I am going to take these out to the garage and attempt to paint them black. Here are my black pots all painted for the trees. I think these came out so good. It is actually the next day I decided to let these dry overnight. Bill was so sweet and he painted these for me yesterday. So here is what they look like all finished. I absolutely love them. Definitely loving the black way more than the two-toned. I just think these look perfect now. So now that they are all dry, I think I am going to go ahead and stick the little trees in them. I just have the trees sitting down here. So I will probably put the trees in and fluff them up and I will come back and show you guys how they look. All right guys, here are the trees in the pots. I cannot believe how much more I love these now that the pots are painted black. I always think it's amazing what a little bit of spray paint can do. It can just give something a whole new look and make it feel brand new again. I also wanted to show you guys, I did finish up this spot right here. I finally figured it out. Well, actually Bill helped me because originally I just had the book and the truck there and it just wasn't looking balanced. So I was going to move the truck, but I had no idea where to put it. And then I remembered I had this little sign right here that I bought from the Target dollar spot. And I was originally going to stick that behind this little tree. And then he suggested leaving the truck and putting the little sign right there. And I just think that it came out so perfectly, he's a genius. So this is how it is looking. I love this little truck so much. This is from Target. Little white truck is my newest obsession. I think the little wreath on here is just so adorable. Also loving this little sign right here. Like I said, this is from the Target dollar spot and this little sign was only $3. So that is how it is looking. I think I am basically done decorating the living room, the kitchen and the dining room. I think everything came out very nice. All right guys, that is going to be it for this video. I do still have a bunch more decorating to do, so I will be filming a part two soon, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.